Hi, this is Dominic from Paphos Life. And I'm at the top end of our bar street, ready to walk down beside this avenue and film the uh, renovation work that's going on there, see how it's progressing. Be careful not to get one over here. At this point, uh, traffic's open both ways, but as you get down to the seafront, it gets one way, which is this way. So if you're here and you want to get back to the seafront, what you have to do, I'm saying this because I had to tell someone about this in the last film, is actually go up that way and stay on that road. And it'll take you all the way through Catapafos until you get to Fabrica Hill. And at that T-junction you turn right and that puts you on the dual carriageway where you turn left. You have to turn left anyway because it's a dual carriageway. That bit was very soft that I just walked on. And uh, that'll bring you out at uh, Kings Avenue Mall where you turn left again. And that's how you get back to the seafront. And remember, if you like our content, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel as it really does help YouTube promote us. And if you want to help us financially, then go to our pathoslife.com slash coffee page and you can either send us coffee or click on one of the affiliate links. So, what is happening on Poseidon this avenue is that... Uh, all the parking area is being replaced by uh, landscaping, which you can see here. And it's going to be very pretty when it's finished. And it'll certainly give all the flower pots on the seafront, which are very favourably received now, a run for their money in terms of what's nice to look at. Now, I'm crossing the street again here, though, because there was an interesting little bit of ruins here, which I'd never noticed before. And I was filming the other day. And yet, yeah, I mentioned that in the previous film, that one idiot was on uh, YouTube, pure clickbait, saying, oh, don't come to Paphos, it's a complete building site. That's complete and utter nonsense. Yes, they are renovating a bit of it, but they were renovating uh, the seafront this time last year, and by the summertime that was lovely. So ignore any hysterical nonsense you see on YouTube. You come and see for yourself. Right, this is outside the Hotel Annabelle. And this side of uh, Sidon's Avenue is all pretty much complete now as well. And very nice it is too. Again, you can see the area in the middle for blind and visually impaired people. So if you're worried about walking into bollards, stick to those bits. And so all this uh, landscaping is going to go all the way down to the seafront. And as I said in the last film, the mayor's actually in the process of uh, organising a new car park to be built somewhere around here. It will give an extra 75 spaces. There is also a private car park just in there where that car's going. We use that all the time, actually. It's only two euros, as long as you want. You go in there and like the shopkeeper in Mr. Ben, this little man will appear and you give him your two year, your euros and that's it. 
So there'll still be plenty of parking, but there'll also be a lovely walkway with beautiful landscaping. I wonder how many people actually remember Mr. Ben. Start getting uh, dewy eyed over Bagpuss next. Well, we're coming down to Pinguinos now. As I said before, if you've got celiacs or just staying off the gluten, uh, that's a very good place to eat because uh, one of the family members there is a celiac, so they really know about uh, gluten free cooking there and how it seriously take it. My mum was a celiac, initially diagnosed back in the 80s and I have to say that the food availability now is uh, a lifetime away from the crap she had to put up with back in the day. Their regular food's nice as well. It can be a nice place to sit in this, have a cold drink and watch the day go past. And the road next to them is uh, finished and as we saw in the previous film, it's, today it's open again. Yesterday it wasn't, the day before that it was, so take your pick. Now some of the cars are going up here and you might think, oh, that means that they can drive all the way to the sea uh, front, but they're turning at the top is right turn only and some people do turn left and cause traffic jams and what have you but uh, it's not the best route to go I'm going to walk to the uh, lifeguard station past uh, the municipal beach and to finish this film but I just thought I'd show you this vast little area. And you can see here that the uh, renovation work, what that's going to actually do is make the uh, entrance to the seafront pretty much permanently pedestrian only. There'll probably be a gap so that fire engines can get through still, and uh, ambulances and possibly delivery drivers. But For all intents and purposes, yes, there is a drop curve there and a, a narrow gap, which makes sense for emergencies. So we'll have a little peek at the uh, top end of the seafront. And then we'll call it a day for this film. But yes, yeah, so if you saw what I just showed you and you thought, my God, I can't go to Paphos, then by all means stay away. But uh, if you did, you'd be missing on a very lovely seafront, which we'll see in the next film. There's a little chuck of a moped there. Trying not to film people on the gym equipment. If there's a changing room just up here and there might be swimmers, I'm going to walk through to the other side. Incidentally, that takes you back up to the uh, 
Simons Avenue up there. But we are now on uh, the boardwalk, coming up to Anike's Beach. Not sure where the beach starts, but it's actually a blue flag one, believe it or not. The lifeguard over there. So all these are open to anybody. I'd assumed previously that they were just for the hotel, the Annabelle. But, uh, and it's the same price you get, uh, 250 all over Cyprus. Now the water sports over there is back again. They went uh, before. Winter. I hadn't appreciated that, that, that whole area over there. I guess it must be just a barge or something. The complete went. So that's Alikey's Beach. I won't get any closer because there's lots of swimmers there. And that is the lifeguard station. And in our next film, we're going to walk up the seafront towards the harbour. And we'll see you soon. Cheers.